everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll show you about gathering and crafting. You'll be spending some time gathering in Andon if you're just starting out, as it is the most cost-efficient way to get materials that you need for crafting. You can craft your weapons, your character's gear and armor, components for your drone, furniture for your house, and even different items that you need to upgrade your gears and weapons. So all sorts of things require crafting here. Later on when you have more gold in the game, you won't have to gather as much if you don't want to. But for now, pick up that shovel. We're going to go out into the world of Andon and pick and gather everything we see. But a few things before you go out together. You're going to want to make sure that your bag is full of meal items that you can eat because gathering consumes your hunger stat very quickly. And if you want to stay out for longer, you're going to want to have some food on hand. Secondly, you should already have been given an axe and a pickaxe during your first tutorial of gathering. But you would still want to learn how to craft your own axe for logging and pickaxe for mining as they will automatically be destroyed once the durability runs out and you'll eventually need to craft a new one anyway. You can craft these at any time from your bag as long as you have the necessary materials. So by pressing F2 and getting into your crafting tab, you can click here and make your own axe or pickaxe wherever you are in the world. With these items on hand, you'll be able to start gathering. Standing next to a node that contains materials should bring forward a menu detailing what items you'll be able to obtain from it. For example, when you stand next to the trunk of a tree, the menu will appear showing that you can gather logs and also what type of log you can gather. Cotton bushes will yield cotton-related materials. Iron ores will give you ore related materials and various bushes should give you different types of ingredients for cooking. And when you need pelt, you'll have to hunt animals out in the world and gather their carcasses. As you level up, you will discover that higher level weapons will need slightly different materials to craft, but you won't be able to find them in the zone that you first started in. This means that you will need to move to a different map. You can see which map will provide the item that you need by clicking on Obtain and then on the item icon. It should be listed here on the tooltip for you. For example, when you check on the craft for this item, you will see that you will need small animal hide, which is located by hunting in central plains. If you want to make the most out of your time spent gathering, you can choose to invest points into life skill roles and talents, such as the logger role, the miner or gatherer. They will allow you to craft higher tier axes and pickaxes and in turn will increase your chances of obtaining uncommon or rare item drops when gathering. Once you've collected all that you've needed to use these items for crafting, you'll need a processing table at your home. Processing materials will turn them into a new item that can be used in crafting. The item will have the same appearance but the only difference is that you will now be able to see it when you enter into the crafting screen. Take note that you are limited daily on how many times that you are able to process. As you can see here, it's limited to 400 normal raw materials and 200 advanced raw materials per day. So it will definitely be an advantage to you if you can max out your processing every day as it means that you'll have more usable materials on hand to craft with or that you can sell on the marketplace to earn in-game currencies. Of course, if you feel that gathering all these materials to max out the number every single day is going to just burn you out and make this game seem like a chore, then simply don't do it. Stop it! Get some help! Because games are meant to be fun, right? And it's not fun if it feels like a job. Additionally, you can purchase an item that will increase the refinement chance limit too, if that's something that you would prefer to do. I'm guessing this item will be a cash shop item though, so be prepared for that. There are many different ways to get rare equipment in this game, and this is only just one of them. 
and you'll definitely find out what works best for you. Especially if you're like me, and gathering for hours a day will drive you to insanity. All your trees belong to me. Meow, 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 meow. Look around, there's nobody. Meow, 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 meow. But there's a zombie here, and a zombie there. Zombie, zombie, where is zombie? Normal. So now that that's out of the way, let me take you to the crafting tabs and show you an example of crafting a level 30 weapon. You'll see three options here. One is for weapons, one is for crafting equipment, and the bottom one is for drone parts for crafting your drone. We'll click this one because we're going to be crafting our heavy weapon firearm. As you can see here, when you reach level 30, you'll unlock new weapons such as the biotic gun and the heavy machine gun. So by clicking on the item, you can see what materials exactly are required to craft this item. And when you click on it, you can see where to obtain them. On the same screen, you'll be able to craft it easily there. And when you have everything that you need to craft, you should be able to hit this button and it will create your weapon for you. But before you even go and do that, Look up here. If you look on these percentages up here, they'll show you how much of a chance that you have of obtaining blue, purple, and gold grades of the weapon that you are crafting. For most of you gamers out there, you'll know that the gold grade weapon is gonna offer you the best space numbers for that weapon, but it also has the lowest chance to drop as well. You can click up here to see the grades and the exact differences between their base stats. As you can see, it's not too much. I would generally not worry too much about the grade that you get right now. Not at least until you reach the max level when you're crafting your endgame gears, as there are plenty of other ways you can get your character's power up without wasting valuable resources on re-rolling the level 30 weapon. Especially if you're just going to become level 40 within the next few days later. But let me show you a trick of how to get a higher grade. So that's crafting and gathering in Undawn at a very basic surface level. I didn't want to get too much into it because this is still just based on what we saw during the closed beta and it could possibly change on the actual launch of the game. And when that happens, I'll make a new video that contains more advanced in-depth information. So stay tuned, I'll be showing you my favorite locations together from level 1 to level 30 in the next video and click the bell to be notified when that releases. As always, remember to like and subscribe as it really helps small channels like mine to grow. And thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time. Itta bye bye!